A few weeks back, I made a video showing how you could snag the brand new generative AI wallpapers from the Pixel 8 series and install that very same APK, that same capability on your older Pixel devices. Now at that time, there was one big caveat. You needed to be on the QPR1 beta for this APK to run. Since that time, I have gotten a whole slew of comments and messages asking for clarification about this feature. So in this video, we're going to revisit it. I'm gonna show you how to install it and kind of what that functionality is. Before I do that, what I need to let you know is that beta is over. QPR1 beta is over. And as of the December 2023 release, if you got that version, so you're on a more recent Pixel device, I'll throw up on the screen now which devices should be compatible, which devices got that QPR1 stable release. You should be able to install this APK and run this with no problem. All that being said, let's take a look at how to install it and exactly how it works. So step number one is to click on the link to APK Mirror in the description. In the old video, I was directing you towards a file that was uploaded to a Telegram channel. Well, apparently it's on APK Mirror now, so that is where I'm gonna be directing you on this one. So what you're gonna do now is you're gonna come down to the most recent version, it's 1.0 right now. We're gonna click on the download button. Scroll down and again on this version, the most recent one, we're gonna click on download again and then download the APK. Now, if you're doing this from your phone, Phone, the file will already be on your phone. If this wasn't on your phone, guess what? You're gonna have to move the file onto your phone and then install it. So for me, that's going to look like this. I move stuff wirelessly all the time. So I'm gonna go into my file explorer. I'm gonna just grab the thing off of my computer downloads and that'll be the file there. I'm just gonna click on it and it's going to ask me if I want to install it. You may have something that pops up and asks you if you wanna give whatever you clicked on it in permission to install APKs allow that and it should then install it. Of course, I'm just updating because I've already got this installed, which in fact, let's let's do this all the way from the beginning. I'm gonna go and uninstall mine and then we'll do it fresh. We're uninstalled, let's click on it again, install, and we are good. So let's click on done. And at that point, you're pretty much good to go. So if you long press on your home screen and then you click on wallpaper and style, you can scroll down to more wallpapers and you should now see AI wallpaper up there in the corner. I'm gonna quickly remake the one that I just had because I quite liked it. I went to night. I said, give me a blue river with clouds. We're gonna create that wallpaper right now and you can swipe through these and see different versions of it. I think that one looks quite good. So let's click on the little check mark. You're gonna see how that's gonna look. You can adjust things around a little bit home screen, lock screen, and we can set that wallpaper on both. And of course, material you will take over and you know, you've got a pretty solid looking wallpaper. But of course, there are a ton of different weird things that you can do with this. There's all of these different selections that you can make. I also really quite like the x-ray version, my personal favorite, as I do live in Knoxville, we're gonna go with a dogwood in blue and we're going to create that wallpaper and i find that this combination ends up looking really really nice as well now you can make some really ugly looking wallpapers with this setup but like hey that's that's pretty cool looking so let's go ahead and select that one i think that looks pretty nice as well let's set that wallpaper on both and a cool feature about this is that when you go into your more wallpapers and ai wallpapers you will see the ones that you have created appearing down there. And again, there's tons of different options. Each one of these are going to have their little subcategories, make your wallpapers. And uh, yeah, I think that they uh, often look pretty good. Like I said, you can make some pretty ugly ones, but you can also make some that look pretty cool if you take the time to explore it a little bit. So again, guys, if you have that most recent update, you can install this right now and have some fun making some AI wallpapers. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more. I'll see you on the next one. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.